So two or three months ago, I got a chance to be on the Tripod, the Try Guys podcast, and I really, really enjoyed my time. It felt like old school YouTube again, like I'm just on someone else's channel contributing, and I felt like I was very appreciated and loved, and I had such a fun time. But there was this one little comment uh, that one of the uh, hosts had made that wasn't mean at all, didn't mean anything bad, there was no negative energy with it. But the, the comment was, oh, so what do you do on your channel? You like share what's going on in your living situation? something along those lines. And I was like, um, I mean, I mean, not now. It's, it's not, I mean, I have, I guess, for the last couple months, like seven, eight months, because I had nowhere to live for so long. And as much as other YouTubers might be able to, I don't know, continue making their content in their niche or whatever, despite what's going on in their lives, I find that this channel is still very OG in a way, and I will just make things, make videos on whatever I want, on whatever's happening, and if I'm going through a rough patch, I think I'd like to talk about it, you know? I, I feel like that is just what I want to create on this platform. And so when they had said this, I was like, well, no, no, no. I mean, I do other things, but it was just something that I kept in my mind as, okay, so that's, uh, you know, how my channel looks to these people. They're marketing me as, he talks about his living situation. I, I don't know, that doesn't sound that interesting. So I was like, well, I, you know, I do British versus American videos, you know, I do sometimes a funny Reddit video, or I, I do a lot of other interesting things that I'm interested in, you know? It's, it's just a bit of a giant hodgepodge. However, the, the other day, um, a month ago, I actually met up uh, with another YouTuber for coffee. We're gonna make a collab video, hopefully in the near future. I'm, I'm trying my best with this type of thing, and he's really lovely. I love his content. And so as we're sitting over coffee, he says, all right, so um, what do you do? Uh, you make property videos? Pro property, property videos. And, and th this is nothing against him. It's nothing against the other guys as well. This is, this is me. So it, m one of my colleagues, you know, someone in my field, their first impression when they look at my channel is property videos. And I, I, I don't know what to say. I, I feel like that is really indicative of my YouTube channel though. Like genuine question Let's just say you, you know, you're, you're watching my video. Thank you for, for being here. If you were to recommend my channel to one of your friends, how would you even do that? What would you say? Oh, I love Evan Edinger. He makes, let's just say, British versus American videos, the really interesting comparisons and whatnot. And so your friend later goes, oh, okay, I'll check him out. You know, types me in and then sees uh, something like this or some Reddit video or some online dating type video. Like, what, what are they going to think? Like, oh, that's not necessarily what I was expecting. You know, I feel like the way that YouTube is now, you really just have to to pick a thing. You gotta pick a niche, you gotta stay in the niche, and every once in a while, you might be able to do something a little different. And that's annoyingly just not the way my brain works. I just wanna make videos on lots of topics. Like, I'm really into interior design, I really would love to make a video on that type of thing. I'm really into cameras and things, but every time I try and deviate a little bit, not many of my, you guys, current audience, algorithmically, are into that at all. And I kind of have to accept that, that's fine. I can still make videos that I'm passionate about, but I have to just acknowledge that's the way things are. However, branding, clearly my branding is, is not really that good. If someone is going to my channel and has no idea what I'm doing, they think I'm doing property videos. And I feel like that's indicative of why my channel isn't hashtag doing well, if it's not, if it is. And so, that's something that I guess I really need to work on, but it's such a hard concept to figure out. I have a lot of really, really good uh, British versus American videos I've got coming in the pipeline that I've, uh, are like a lot longer researched videos and such, but also in terms of like getting people on to like make these fun type of things, it's so much more difficult than it used to be because I just feel like so many people that I know don't really make uh, YouTube videos anymore, which is a bit annoying. And I, it's so stressful to just reach out to random people and I guess that's what I gotta do. But even if I do, as I have been doing, nobody knows what I'm doing. It doesn't make sense. So I just need to, I guess, sort myself out, uh, get into one of those niches. I, I have an idea that I'd love to just do uh, two videos a week, uh, starting in June, where I do my standard video on a Sunday and then sort of like community videos, I just make a video on whatever I want to that week, just off the cuff, no crazy edits, nothing, uh, in a series I'd like to call Not My Niche, where I literally just talk about anything. Even if algorithmically it hurts me, whatever. But as long as I might be able to have a 
solid brand or whatever so people understand what they're subscribing for really you know like genuine question sometimes when you go to watch let's just say you've got a problem with your radiator and you look up a youtube video how to fix my radiator head and then at the beginning of the video it's like make sure you guys subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss notifications about when i upload a new radiator video like you begin to ask yourself do you know what type of audience you have like i you're you have a great service thank you so much for your radiator tips but I'm not necessarily interested in being notified whenever I have a new radiator video. And I feel like that's the same with me. And correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, some of you, thank you so much. I do appreciate it. When I do come out with something that's a bit more out there than I usually do, you do show up and I'm just thankful. Like the other day, I uploaded a video about my online dating history. I thought it was such a fascinating topic. I'd been preparing this for ages. I got all of my Tinder data, my Bumble data, and I was analyzing it. And I was like, this is gonna be so cool. I then spent 30 minutes trying to come up with some title and thumbnail thumbnail that I thought would bring people in without being any type of clickbait and it's the worst part of YouTube for me. I'm so bad at that even though it's probably the most important. And so then I'm so proud of my title. Look at it. Wow. It's, I even said it in the first 30 seconds of the video. I was like, this is going to be great. It's going to slap. 10 out of 10. And guess what? It was a 10 out of 10. I was, I was shown this lovely image uh, on the YouTube studio, meaning that this video was the worst performing video I'd uploaded in the last two to three months. And I didn't, it, it was just like such a defeatist feeling, like, oh God, I I don't know what to do. And then thankfully I did post about it on my Instagram and my friend Tom was like, try this thumbnail. And you know what? And try this title. And his title absolutely brought it right back out of the water. You know, it, it became a five or six out of 10. And I hate that the analytics drive bits of mental health like that. But when you spend a lot of time and effort on something and the title of a video is what messes with you, it just really does my head in. And you know what? I'm really happy with that video and I'm happy with how it's done now. But going forward, I just want to make sure I'm still making things that I really want to make, that I'm passionate about, that are interesting. And I actually am going to start making a bit more useful videos. Like I feel like I have lived in the UK for so long and I like making these little entertaining videos with differences, but I feel like I actually have information that can help people a lot more than just entertain with these comparisons. And so I'm hoping to add a bit more of that because uh, I didn't realize how much um, people actually do look up to me in terms of like people that have want to move to the UK or move countries in general and I'm very thankful that I'm in this platform. I mean, the, just the other day, like yesterday, I was in Spitalfields Market and uh, one of my lovely viewers had come up to me and we had such a nice chat. Uh, she loved my channel and I was really anxious at the time and I was like, I don't even know what I'm doing. Like, what do you like about it? And she was like, oh, I just love whatever you gotta do. I, I love what you do. Thank you so much every week. And I was just like, this is who I'm doing it for. You know, I'm doing it for me. I'm doing it for people like this. I'm, I'm making videos because I'm making videos, you know? And I'm just really excited. I'm looking in my, in my notion right now. I've got so many, like I said, things in the pipeline that I'm just gonna stop putting off. I'm gonna improve my workflow a bit, uh, put more grind time into improving my YouTube videos and not just fancy lighting or whatnot, but just things I'm interested in. And I guess titles and thumbnails, <laughs> the, the thing that I'm so bad at, but at the end of the day, I've actually got this bin here because I, I was having a bit of a, a mental issue where I was like, you know what? I've gotten a few comments about this. Why don't I just shave on, on a video? Just get rid of my whole beard combo. That'll be a fun idea. And then I had this really negative thought in my head of like, is that what I'm doing? Like, I just thought about these other comments about property videos. And I'm like, let's just say I message someone to collab at some point this month. And they go like, so you just, you shave? Like, what is it you do? And it's because I, I still feel like I am really living in uh, OG, like generation one and two YouTube and I'm, I'm sticking with it. Either way, I am actually going to shave today. And you know what? We're doing a little twist. We're do dovetailing here, dovetailing, dovetailing, wild words, uh, the video content. So just throwing it out there, people were like, I, I shouldn't have invited this at all, but I had asked your opinions on uh, on the old facial hair. And boy, did I get a lot. We have a, I love it. I hate it. I love it. I hate it. You look too old. You're going to look too young. I would never date you. I'm not planning on dating you. Uh, I do have a relationship. Uh, so... Thank you for the rescinded offer. But either way, the thing about um, the facial hair, I thought it would be just interesting. I've never seen the way I look with facial hair. I'm just holding this bin. And you know what? I like the way I look, but it doesn't look like me. Uh, I don't know if you've ever experienced this, but uh, the other day I didn't have my glasses on. I was looking in the mirror and I was like, 
I didn't recognize who it was. And I was like, oh, I looked like my dad a bit. Uh, I guess that's what facial hair does in a way. And it just feels like I'm there behind the hair, you know? Like, even though I've tried my best to style it and make it look nice, and I, I don't hate it, it just doesn't, it doesn't fully feel like me. And also, just gotta say, everyone that has facial hair like this, you gotta put up with a lot, all right? I mean, you're trying to eat some food, it's there. You're trying to drink some drink, it's there. I, I bite my nails because I just hate the feeling of the nails in general. And it's the same type of thing with the mustache. You can't not feel there's a mustache. It's there at all times. You feel it. It's, there's a hair on your lip. At all. Uh, I do not like it. In terms of kissing, it's like multiple knives stabbing my face. Soft on the other end, but for me, it's just like, ow, no me gusta. Either way, uh, this is a, a bit of a different one, you know, little one take videos about what's going on in my mind, but I'm going to be shaving everything off of my face today and I'm gonna use it uh, symbolizing a new beginning for me, a new beginning for my YouTube channel. Why is he holding a bin? Well, I've actually, I've, I've got shaving equipment in here. I, I'm gonna be viewing this as a way to kind of revitalize, bring back my hard hitting content. Like I said, looking at my notion, I'm like, yes, good stuff. And, and genuinely, I'd like to know, I've asked this on YouTube before and I'm going to actually action some. What YouTubers would you like me to reach out to? I'm going to start bringing some other people that are uh, interesting. Hopefully I, I, I like their content as well. I'm gonna be messaging people. Tell me who you want me to collab with and uh, we'll see if we can get some good content up there like the old days. And then they'll check out my channel and go, so you shave? Is that is that what you do? You're doing shaving content now? Now, here's the thing. There's a potential I could just shave all of it off at one go. You know, that, that's, a, that's a chance. There's a chance I could do that. But I think even more interesting is I just leave the mustache for now. I just wanna see what I look like with a big old mustache. I, I know that mustaches uh, don't get a good rap. I feel like everyone, you either look good in the mustache or the 95% of people that don't. And now I, I look like I've definitely aged. Ho, ho, ho! <sighs> Here we go. The other day I was reading an article uh, from The Guardian about uh, Babish, who I love. He makes cooking videos. He's a great, great YouTuber. And I really appreciated how much he opened up about his depression because it really helped normalize to me how I feel um, about YouTube in general. Because this guy's nearly at 10 million subscribers. He's so successful. Uh, you know, me looking at him, looking up to him as a, as a YouTuber, fellow content creator. And the fact that he had this line that was like, I have literally everything I've ever wanted. A successful YouTube channel, a wife, a house, like everything's going great. I'm so fucking depressed. And I found that really just, I felt it really helpful to read something like that. Maybe just maybe there's someone out there that's also having a bit of a rough patch. And even though things are supposedly on the surface going really great and you're like, wow, I even got into the university I wanted to go to or anything like that. For me, I literally just got the flat of my dreams. I'm so happy to be building this out. I've got a relationship. I've got a really successful YouTube channel and a lot of good friends that support me. And yet, you know, you can't help getting body anxiety. It just comes out of nowhere and then you just start stressing. You know, I've never had to shave this much. I feel like there's a there's a better way of doing this. It's really starting to come along now. Uh, as you can see, I look uh, just a bit silly. Wow, I do not like this look. <laughs> I thought it'd be interesting uh, to leave the little soul patch and the mustache, but um, I looked in the mirror and I do not know who, who I am. Like this is very much like a who that, it's crazy what a different facial hair can do to a face. Cause I just don't think I look like anyone that resembles me at all. <laughs> It looks like I'm cosplaying as someone. Then the final look before I chop it all off. A mustached man, oakley doakley. Well, well, well. Look who we have here. Hello. I, I don't know who I am now. I'm actually really excited to grow my stubble back as I think that's kind of the way I like looking for the most part, but it'd been so long since I'd had a completely shaven face. Just wanted to start from ground zero. Nicked my face up quite a bit, but all will be healed with time. And you know what? I genuinely feel a lot better. I already feel like I'm excited for uh, the next couple months. I'm really excited to be in my space and to be in my zone and to be in control of everything, really. So thank you so much for watching whatever the heck this is on my YouTube channel each and every Sunday. I do appreciate you so much and uh, hopefully, well, you know what? It, I will give you a good reason. I'll give you some good abilities to recommend my channel to other people because I'll, I'll be coming out with some good niche stuff. Well, hello, Evan in the edit here. What a hodgepodge of a video this is, isn't it? So, I now have stubble. I am back a bit. I feel like I still want to upload this. Uh, I'm doing much better, by the way. Just to show, like, 
everyone's got ups and downs. Uh, just editing this, I was like, then man, I felt like I was going in a little circle. Because sometimes a mind feels like that. Um, but like I said, I am doing much better. I'm editing some uh, other videos for this upcoming week and I'm really, really excited for not just that, but everything. So thank you so much for basically sticking with me through this. Uh, and if you're interested, I'm gonna do a bit more of a behind the scenes on what's coming up next on my second channel, which I will link here if you're interested. Anyway, hope to see you around next week for that video I've got planned for you. Goodbye.